Greece is forcibly bringing in private doctors to help tackle the coronavirus pandemic outbreak, something that has brought its national health system to its knees. This measure will include 206 doctors under the age of 60 who will be requisitioned for at least a month in order to take some of the workload of their colleagues in Greece's most populous region. Every day is worse than the one before. We predict that the coming days will be a lot worse, meaning we've got a long way to go. This morning in Sotiria we had zero ICU beds available and bear in mind that we are talking about the hospital with the most ICU beds in Greece. It's certainly a difficult equation. Public hospitals' capability on one hand and people's exhaustion due to the restrictive measures that have been imposed on and off for a year on the other. Trying to solve the riddle, the Greek government decided to reopen headdresses, nail salons, parks and open archaeological sites to give people a chance to vent. This has Greece acting in a paradox. When the country entered the second lockdown on November the 7th, hospitals had to cope with far less compared to last Sunday when the number of intubated patients hit a record high. In order to have a clearer picture of the situation, the government announced that each citizen will be able to get tested once a week at home or at a pharmacy. But pharmacists say this was a rushed announcement with no specific plan in place. Let's say a test comes out positive in my store. What then? The person would have taken off their mask, came close to me, and I would have had to sit in front of them. This place is now infected since he's COVID positive. What should I do with the testing device? Where do I discard it? They announce something without knowing how it's supposed to work. Greece is at a crucial turning point nearly two months before the scheduled start of the tourist season. A flawless ongoing vaccination campaign and the further opening of activities keep the country hopeful that it will have entered the path of normalcy until then. Authorities speak of the last mile before the finish line, but it is well known that this is the hardest part, especially in such a long race. Panos Kitsikopoulos in Athens for Euronews.